Boys and girls, it's time to joke along with Jimmy. Yay! How about that? Oh, <laughs> Boys and girls, it's time to joke along with Jimmy. Yay! How about that? Oh, <laughs> Thank you, Farfo. Yes, that's exactly what we're going to do, boys and girls. We're going to tell jokes. And we hope they'll remind you of some of your favorite jokes. And you just might joke along with all of us here. On my right, Danny O'Day. Yeah! Listen, I heard a funny story. I... Later. Oh, all right. Yeah. On my left, Humphrey Higsby. It seems there was this man walking down the street. Oh! He said later. Right, we'll get to the jokes in a minute. I want to introduce the cat. On my extreme right, the lovely little cat, Fatata Tita. Watch that stuff, you silly then trickle as you. <laughs> <laughs> That's Fatata Tita over there. Yes, yes, Fatata Tita's my name. Yes, yes. Aren't I beautiful? <laughs> <laughs> well, she is a beautiful cat. She really is. Yes, yes. Fatata Tita, that's a very unusual name. Yes, isn't it? Yes, yes. <laughs> How do you spell it? You don't spell it, you sneeze it, you silly <laughs> Yes, yes. All right, yes. And Farfel, our little shaggy dog, how about you? You have a joke or two? No, I wouldn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get to you two. Anyway, we're all going to take categories, that is subjects, and we're going to start off, well, what would be a good subject to start off with? Uh, I'm not feeling too well today. How about doctors? <laughs> Good. That's right. One thought suggests another. Let's see if we can tell the boys and girls what's the best way to tell a joke. All right. Let's say I'm the patient. Humphrey, you're the doctor. All righty. And I come in and I say, uh, Doctor! Doctor! I was playing the harmonica and I swallowed it! <laughs> Just be glad you weren't playing the piano. Oh! 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 Well, that's fine, Humphrey, but you see, don't ever laugh at your own joke. That's a, that's a bad rule. Tell the joke and let your audience do the laughing. They beg your pardon. Yeah. But then if I, if I, let me try another one. I'll, let me try, doctor! Yes? Doctor, I also swallowed my ballpoint pen! What shall I do? Use a pencil. <laughs> I didn't laugh. No, you didn't, and it was much better that way. Now you get the idea. Try one more, will you please, Danny? All right, all right. Doctor, doctor, every time I drink a cup of hot cocoa, I get a sharp pain in my eye. What do I do? Take the spoon out of the cup. <laughs> I couldn't help laughing on it, though. Did you really? Here, give me your hand. I'll take your pulse, my boy. Mmm. What is it? Mmm. Doctor. Mmm. Your pulse is steady as a clock. Get your hand off my wristwatch. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you have it. About four doctor jokes. Now, boys and girls, does that remind you of a joke about a doctor? Of course, doctors are our very best friends. They keep us healthy all our lives. But sometimes you can think of some funny jokes about doctors. Let's have one. Come on, joke along with all of us. Now we have a new category. What'd you say? A waiter. A waiter? Well, or a restaurant. A waiter in a restaurant. How's that? Good enough. All right, fine. Patata Tita. Yes, Mr. Wilson? That's Nelson. Oh, yes, yes. Yes. <laughs> I'll tell you what you do. You be a customer. All righty. Yes. And uh, Danny, you can also be a customer. Farfel, you can be the waiter. All righty. Let's do a little scene and do a few jokes in a restaurant. The waiter! Waiter, for the heaven's sake, don't serve me that soup. It's not hot enough. How can you tell if I haven't served you yet? You got your thumb in it. <laughs> Silly spader. Hey, look at that. Look at that sign. It says, watch, watch your hat and coat. Well? While I was watching my hat and coat, somebody stole my sandwich. <laughs> the silliest thing I ever heard. Stop watching our coat. I'm not watching your coat. <laughs> I'm only watching mine. Yours was gone a half hour ago. <laughs> Waiter, over here, please. Waiter, look, just... Order me two eggs and a kind word. All righty. Here's your eggs. What about the kind word? Don't eat the egg. <laughs> Waiter? Waiter, here, here. What kind of a restaurant is this? I, I don't like all these flies. Well, swat the ones you like, and I'll swat the rest. Waiter! Waiter, every time I come into this restaurant, you serve me spinach. Spinach again. I got spinach again today. Eat it. It'll put color in your cheeks. Who wants green cheeks? <laughs> a waiter? Wait, what, what kind of pie is this? Peach or apple? Can't you tell from the taste? No. Then what difference does it make? I, but listen to me. This, this pie tastes terrible. Now, that, that's all I can tell you. Well, is it peach or lemon? I don't know. It tastes like glue. 
It must be lemon. The peach tastes like putty. <laughs> oh, dear. And I feel terrible myself today. I, I ate a dozen clams last night. You ate a dozen clams? Yeah. You don't feel well. No. What do they look like when you open them? Oh, are you supposed to open them? <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> the waiter! Waiter, I'll have a double banana split with whipped cream and, and marshmallow on it and a lot of extra chocolate, you know, and some nuts on the top there, yes. Yeah. Would you like a cherry on the top, too? No, thanks. I'm on a diet. <laughs> <laughs> but I want to tell you one thing. You have wonderful dishes here. Thank you very much. Yes. Yeah. The food on top of them is terrible, but the dishes are wonderful, too. <laughs> well, all I can tell you, Patatatina, we have everything on the menu. What would you like? A clean menu! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. And that takes care of the waiter jokes and restaurant jokes. Now, boys and girls, does that remind you of a joke about a waiter? Well, if so, come on, joke along with us. We move to another category, another subject. Yes. And this one is insults. Oh, I'm good at that. Yes, yes. yes. <laughs> well, we'll put you right in this particular routine, Patatatita. You and Danny and Humphrey. Let's see how good you can get kind of insulting each other. All right? Yeah, I'll start. Humphrey, you were great when you were making that cabinet a while ago. Um, thank you very much, Daniel. Yeah, you, you hammer those nails like lightning. Oh, thank you. You mean I, I hammer them very fast? No, you never strike twice in the same place. <laughs> well, I'm doing the best I can, but I'm having a little trouble. Tell me, Daniel, when you're hitting a nail, what's the best way to avoid hitting your thumb? Let somebody else hold the nail. Uh, and you know, Fatata Tita insulted me a while ago. Did she? Uh, she asked if I could dance. Well, what's wrong with that? We were dancing at the time. <laughs> well, Humphrey, you'd be a great dancer except for two things. What's that? Your feet. Look out the window, Daniel. Just look. What, what? Oh, look at that beautiful tree out there. No oh, wondrous, stately old elm tree. If only you could talk, what would you say? This one would probably say, excuse me, buddy, but I'm an oak. <laughs> Listen, Patata Tita, the next time you go into the library, will you be a little more quiet? You made so much noise in there last time. You got to be quiet in the library. The people around you can't read. So? Shame on them. I could read when I was sick. <laughs> Patata Tita, you haven't got the brains to talk to an idiot. Oh? Well, then I'll send you a letter. <laughs> Thank you. I think you did very well insulting each other. It was getting a little strong there, so I think we'll stop insulting right now. Does that remind you of any insult jokes, boys and girls? Come on, joke along. The next subject. Yes, yes. Fishing. Love it, love fishing. I know you love the fish, Nanny, so let's uh, put you in this routine and farfel. Let's pretend you're out in the boat. Yes. Fishing. Yes. And the waves are getting rough. Okay. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy, are these waves rough. Farfel. Mm, yes. How far is it to land? Only a half a mile. Thank goodness. Straight down. <laughs> I'm afraid of that. Let's get back to shore. Here we are. Hello there, Mr. Nelson. Hello, boys. How are you doing? How's the fishing? Oh, great! Great! Haven't had a bite in three hours. What's so great about that? Farkle hasn't had a bite in six hours. <laughs> <laughs> you should have seen the fish I caught yesterday. Oh, it was this big. How big? This big. How big? This big! I never saw such a fish! I'll bet you didn't. Well, don't stop me now. I gotta get home. Were you all through fishing? Yeah, I should have been home an hour ago. Well, tell me, did you catch anything? I won't know till I get home. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> that's our routine on fishing. All right, fellas, not too bad. Maybe that's uh, brought to mind some jokes for the boys and girls. Come on, joke along. Next subject is, <laughs> is going to the store. The store! Oh, can I play the part of the shopkeeper? Yes, you can be the storekeeper, Humphrey, fine. And Danny, you can be the customer. Okay. Go on in the store. Here I go. <laughs> Hello there, how much are your eggs? Uh, five cents for the good ones and two cents for the cracked ones. Well, crack me a dozen. <laughs> while you're at it, I'd like a pound of insect powder. A pound of insect powder, yes. Will you take it with you? No, I'll send the bugs down to you. And Daniel, I, I went shopping myself. Do you, like, uh, do you like this new suit I have on? Very jazzy. Thank you. It has two pair of pants. Oh? 
You like it? No, it's too hot. What do you mean? Do you ever try wearing two pair of pants? <laughs> no, I didn't. Oh, well, with my luck. What do you mean with your luck? Got the suit with two pair of pants. I'll probably burn a hole in the coat. <laughs> Very good. That's enough. Let's get out of the store. But it might have reminded some boys and girls of jokes about shopping or stores or eggs or suits or something. So come on and joke along with us. Let's hear yours. All right, let's get aboard a train. What? The next category is trains, train rides. Let's see what we can do here. Danny, Humphrey, and I'll join in. Okay, I'll get on the train. Humphrey, you're the conductor. Yes. Conductor, excuse me, do you allow monkeys on this train? Uh, go sit in the corner, nobody will notice you. <laughs> what a mean conductor. What do you mean he's a mean conductor? He just punched a ticket. That's mean. Yes. And this is the slowest train I've ever been on. Conductor! Can't the engineer go any faster? Yes, but he's not allowed to leave the train. <laughs> hey, you kid. What? You know, last night my cousin stepped in front of a train. Oh, that's terrible. Was he killed? No, the train was backing up. <laughs> well, you can joke about it if you like, but this is the safest railroad in the world. Really? We can't possibly have a collision. Why not? We only have one train. <laughs> aww, aww, aww. <laughs> Humphrey, please, I remind you not to laugh at your own jokes. All right, that's our routine on trains. How about you, boys and girls? Joke along with us. Miss, Mr. Wilson! That's Nelson. Yes, when, when do we get to the riddles, you know? I, I, I want to tell my favorite. All right, Patata Tita, this subject, this time, is riddles. Oh, goody, goody. What? Just, just a minute. I want to tell the boys and girls that telling a riddle is a very difficult thing. You have to make sure that you get the line's just right. Yes, I'm telling you that too, Patata Tita. Yes. Now you show the boys and girls just how they should tell a riddle. Don't stumble over any lines. Yes. And know your joke before you start, and uh, then people will always laugh. Are you sure? Try it. All righty. Here's my first riddle. Your what? My first, your first riddle. That's what I said. My first riddle. All right. Yes. What, what do you call a python? A person. Yeah. What do you call a python who keeps on talking when people are no longer interested? What do you call that person? A teacher. <laughs> you like that? Wasn't bad. I got another one. All right, yes. This will stump you. All right, yes. What's the difference between? What's the difference between what? No, no, I'm not giving any hints. No. There's no way to tell a riddle, Patata Tina. You've got to know your joke before you start. Now, come on. I'll give you another chance. All right, here's, here's one. This, this is a goodie. The, why did Robin Hood rob the rich? I don't know. Why did Robin Hood rob the rich? Because the poor had no money. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> That's fine. Another one. Define a volcano. Define a volcano? Yes. What is it? What's a volcano? I give up. A volcano is a mountain with hiccups. <laughs> yes. Thank you, Patata Tita. All right, that ends the riddles, but I'm sure you boys and girls know hundreds of riddles. So here's the part in the show where you can really joke along. Come on, let's hear all the riddles that you know. All right, let's go to school. I'll see you. Come back here. What? <laughs> the next subject is schools or schoolwork. All right. Mm -hmm. Do you know any jokes about schools? Yeah, I know a couple. Well, let's hear them. Okay. Hey, Nelson. What? I just learned how to write. Look. What did you write? I don't know. I haven't learned to read yet. <laughs> I got a great idea. As long as you're talking about schools, let's... Let's play school, and uh, I'll be the teacher. What will you be? Absent. <laughs> Come on, I'm going to ask you some questions, Danny. All right. Yes. Now, if one and one is two, yes. and two and two is four, uh -huh. what's four and four? Hey, what? how can you get all the easy ones? <laughs> you don't understand, Danny. Maybe you can tell me what's important about arithmetic. That's what I say. What's important about arithmetic? I'll see you. Come back to me. All right. Here's another problem. Yes. Now, if you had three apples uh -huh. and you ate two, right? how many would you have left? Three. No, no, you see, you don't understand. No, if you had three apples and you ate two, how many would you have left? Three. How do you think of that? Two inside of me and one outside. Oh, so, but I'll never forget the day I went to school. Oh, boy, did I have fun that day. That day? Oh, you mean you're, you're supposed to go back? <laughs> you are. Yeah. Here, back to Danny again. Now listen to this. Uh huh. If I gave you a dog, yeah. and Humphrey also gave you a dog, yeah. how many dogs would you have? Three. 
See, you're wrong again. You're not thinking. If I gave you a dog and Humphrey gave you a dog, how many would you have? Three. How come? I already have a dog. Or <laughs> right, maybe this one will be harder. I hope not. Yeah. <laughs> Name four animals that belong to the cat family. Oh, that's tough. Yes. I'll think. Mm -hmm. Four animals that belong to the cat family. I got it. What? The mother cat, the father cat, and two little kittens. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Let's get back to the, the problems again. The, Farfel, suppose you ask him a couple. All righty. Danny. Yes? Danny. I hear you. If I gave you two apples. Two apples. Three pears. Three pears. Four oranges. Four oranges. And one pineapple. Yeah. What would you have? Fruit salad. <laughs> That's the best you're going to get from Danny. No, I got another one. Here, here. Um, if I cut a piece of paper in two parts, what would you have? I'd have halves. Halves, that's right. He knew that answer. All right, try this one. If I cut a piece of paper into four parts, what would you have? Quarters. By golly, he knew that one too. Now get this one. If I cut the same piece of paper into 16 pieces, what would you have? Confetti. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. Yeah. All right, Danny, I'll give you another question. Now listen to this. Yes. Name your favorite state. My favorite state? Oh, that's easy. Massachusetts. <laughs> I love Massachusetts. I love the way it sounds. Massachusetts. <laughs> spell it. Yeah, spe I, I, <laughs> spell it. Yeah. Spell Massachusetts. Right. <laughs> I had opened my mouth and said, I said, M A N I M. I, <laughs> I just remembered. I like Ohio better. <laughs> Daddy, you don't take your schoolwork seriously. I don't. No. Now this is your last chance. Okay. Suppose you reached into your pants pocket. Yeah. You pulled out seventy-five cents. <laughs> Then you reached into your other pants pocket and you pulled out 50 cents. Yeah. What would you have? Somebody else's pants. Yeah, I guess you're right. But you're still not taking this seriously enough. You know, when I was your age, uh -huh. I thought nothing of getting up at 5 o'clock in the morning, oh. going out and delivering newspapers, yeah. and then walking 10 miles to school. I, I thought nothing of that. I don't think so much of it myself. <laughs> Right. Listen, I got one final question for you, Nelson. You have a question for me? Yeah. All right. Can you write in the dark? Can I write in the dark? Yeah. I suppose I could if I tried. Good. And turn out the light and sign my report card. <laughs> right. And that's a grand finale to our subject of schools. I'm sure that's brought many jokes to mind, boys and girls, that you know about schools or schoolwork. So come on, joke along. All right, let's go to a party. Oh, that's a dandy idea. Is it, Humphrey? I love parties. You know, the last time I went to a party, you know, I, I, went, I went back for ice cream and cake five times. <laughs> Didn't that embarrass you? No, I kept telling him it was for Danny. Yeah. Why are you? All right, all right. Yeah. But if I sent you off to a party right now, you know, I'd tell you to, to go to the party, have a good time, and behave yourself. Well, make up your mind. I can't do both. <laughs> oh, for the heaven's sake. I, I had a party just last week. I, I made a pie, you know, and, and the dog ate it. The dog ate the pie that you made? Yes, yes. Did anybody ever get you another dog? <laughs> now, cut that out. Yes. I'll tell you, though, Nelson, on my next birthday, will you do me a favor? What's that? Buy me a set of drums. Boy, would I like a set of drums. Drums? Well, that, that's all we need around the house. The drums. The noise would drive me crazy. No, no, I promise to play them only when you're asleep. <laughs> Thanks a lot. I think on that we'll end our party routine. Boys and girls, have you ever heard any good jokes about parties? Come on, joke along with us. All right, we're ready to get into the ring. What do you mean? We're going to a prize fight. Oh, good. Now, look, that's the subject, prize fighting. And Danny, you can be the fighter. Oh, good. I can get up there, swing him a left, give him a right, give him a... All right, don't get carried away. Yeah. Now, you're the prize fighter, and let's talk about it. Yes, sir. Look at that fella. Big, burly opponent. I feel like beating him up again. Again? Yeah, I felt like it yesterday, too. Yeah. <laughs> well, don't be afraid of him. Don't be afraid. Wow. Look at the size of him. Remember what they say, Danny. The bigger they are, the harder they fall. Yeah, but suppose he falls on me. <laughs> I'm swinging. I know. I'm swinging. <laughs> Did I hit him yet? No, but keep swinging. The draft may give him a cold. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Thank you, Humphrey. And that ends our subject of fights. Let's hear you joke along, boys and girls. 
Now we're going to another category, another subject. What's that? Well, it's really not a subject, it's every subject. It's just about the silliest jokes I've ever heard in my life, and we call this section Silliness USA. Yeah. I know we all know a lot of silly jokes, and some of them are pretty funny. Some of them don't make too much sense. But let's see how many silly jokes we can get in in a couple of minutes. Shall we try it? All right. Come on, now, everybody's in on this. Danny O'Day? Yeah. Humphrey Higsby? Yeah. Farfel? Right. And Patata Tita. Yes, I'm, I'm good at being silly, you know, yeah. All right, fine. Let's find out who can tell the funniest silly jokes. Mm, did you know that Patata Tita called me a liar? Well, what's so wrong about that? She proved it. You <laughs> see. Yeah. Did you hear the thunder last night? Wow, Humphrey! I didn't hear it at all. Good heavens, why didn't you wake me? You know I can't sleep when it thunders. <laughs> Ladies! Gentlemen, Humphrey Higsby will now jump off that platform 200 feet high into this little pail of water. I beg your pardon, but the, the water is only two inches deep. Certainly. We don't want you to drown. <laughs> no, boys. Boss, did you know that, that I'm very brave, you see? Yes, I, I once made a hundred Apaches run. You made a hundred Apaches run? How did you do that? Well, I ran and they ran after me. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Nelson. What? You ever see one of those machines that can tell when a person is lying? See one? Yeah. I married one. <laughs> That's one for you. Yeah, yeah. And you know that I had a conversation today with, with a Frenchman. With a Frenchman? Oh, we, we spoke fluently for two hours, yes. Well, that's wonderful, Fatata Tita. I, I didn't know you spoke French. Oh, I don't. He speaks English. Yes. Let's see. Hey, Nelson. What? You know who's in the hospital? Who? Sick people. <laughs> It's all around me. It's all around me. What is? My belt. <laughs> it's all over. It's all over. What is? The roof. <laughs> hey, why do they call that animal a hippopotamus? Because he looks like one. <laughs> Look, I'll tell you what you do, Danny. Yeah? You're not working. I know that. Well, you ought to be more ambitious. Uh -huh. You ought to get a job. Uh -huh. Earn a lot of money. Yeah. Save it. Yes. Retire. Yeah. Then you wouldn't have to work anymore. I'm not working now. <laughs> I say that, young man, how did you get into this theater? On my brother's ticket. Where's your brother? Home, looking for his ticket. <laughs> Danny, do you know any way to start a fire with two sticks? Certainly, if one's a match. <laughs> oh, and Nelson, what? can I go out and play? With those dirty hands? No, with the kids across the street. <laughs> Boy, am I disappointed in my new wristwatch. You're disappointed in it? Yeah. But I thought it was guaranteed. Self-winding. Yeah. Waterproof. Uh-huh. And unbreakable. It is. But what happened? I lost it. <laughs> <laughs> Humphrey, why are you writing so fast? Well, I want to finish this letter before my pen runs out of ink. Yeah. What are you baking over there, Fatata Tita? Well, I'm baking a pie, you silly dummy. Yes. Yeah. What are you going to put into it? My teeth. <laughs> Hey, did you hear my uncle got kicked out of the submarine service? How come? He likes to sleep with the windows open. <laughs> oh, I say, young man, you can't mail this package. It's too heavy. You'll have to put another stamp on it. Won't that make it heavier? <laughs> no, I, I, I could have made a fortune, you know. I, I just could have. I, I invented a foolproof burglar alarm system. Yes. A foolproof burglar alarm system? Yes. What happened? Somebody stole it. <laughs> Oh, now what's the matter? Oh, the, these shoes are too small for me, Doc. They're killing me, yes. Well, why do you wear shoes that are too small for you? Well, they feel so good when I take them off. <laughs> hey, Nelson, what? I tossed a coin. I had a big decision to make. Heads, I'd mow the lawn. Tails, I'd go to the movies. Well, the movies won. Mm -hmm. It wasn't easy, either. I had a toss six times. <laughs> Shine your shoes for a quarter, mister. Uh, no, thank you, Farfel. Please, shine your shoes for a quarter. No, I don't want my shoes shine. Come on, I'll shine your shoes so good you, you can see your face in them. I don't want to see my face. I don't blame you. <laughs> hey, by the way, Patata Tita. Yes? Haven't I seen your face somewhere else? No, no, it's always been right here between my ears. <laughs> Humphrey, you look worried. I certainly am. I've been worried all day. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll give you a dollar to do the worrying for me. Swell. When do I get paid? That's your first worry. <laughs> <laughs> Did you know that London is the foggiest town in the world? 
say, I, I, I don't know about that. I, I, I've been to a town foggier than London. Where was that? I don't know, it was too foggy. <laughs> Humphrey, uh, have you forgotten? You owe me a quarter. No, I haven't forgotten, but give me more time, I will. <laughs> Listen, I heard your uncle was arrested for speeding. That's true. How come he was speeding? Well, his brakes don't work, and he wanted to get home before he had an accident. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah. And that's about the silliest jokes we could come up with. I hope you're learning a little bit about how to tell a joke, and most of all, know the joke before you start telling it. Yeah. Now we'd like to hear some more of yours. We certainly would. So come on, joke along with all of us. All right, boys and girls, the next category is knock-knock jokes. You're kidding. Oh, I'm not, Danny. You know, knock-knock jokes were a big craze years and years ago, and now suddenly there's a big craze all over again. Would you like to try some? Oh, I know a hundred of them. All right, give me, give me one. You, you and Humphrey start it. Okay, it goes like this. Knock-knock. <laughs> uh, who's there? Boo. Uh, boo who? Oh, don't cry, little baby. <laughs> <laughs> that's right, that's how it works. Uh, uh, Farfel, have you got one? Mm, yes, indeedy. I'll ask for Tata Tita. Um, knock-knock. The who's there? Ouch. Oh, chew! Gesundheit. <laughs> I like that. I got another one here. You ready? Mm -hmm. uh, knock, knock. So who's there? Albie. Albie who? Albie, don't you get you? <laughs> All right. Yeah. Want to hear some more? Go ahead. All right. Uh, knock, knock. Uh, who's there? Argo. Argo who? Argo so curious. <laughs> wait, wait, I got another one. Yeah. Knock, knock. Uh, who's there? Mabel. Mabel who? Argo so curious. <laughs> Now cut that out. Silly. Now let's, let's not get silly. Let's do the, the jokes. Uh, I'm going to ask you one. Uh, uh, knock, knock. Who's there? Jimmy. Jimmy who? Jimmy a little kiss. <laughs> right. Back to the professional. Now I, I have one, Solon. Here, here it is. Uh, knock, knock. Who's there? Arthur. Arthur who? Our thermometer is broken. So we <laughs> tell the, the temperature. Forget. I have one. Go ahead, Parfum. Mm. Knock, knock. Who's there? Mm, Cecil. Cecil who? Mm, Cecil have music wherever she goes. <laughs> yeah. Hey, here's another one. Go on. Knock, knock. Uh, who's there? Shelby. Shelby who? She'll be coming round the mountain when she comes. Cha, cha, cha. She'll be coming. Oh, get carried away. Yeah. Mm, I got another one. Go ahead. Knock, knock. Who's there? Fresno. Fresno who? There's no place like home. <sighs> but I, I got another one, fellas. Stand back. This one will kill you. Go ahead, Fatata Tita. Knock, knock. Who's there? Albert. Albert who? Albert, you tell that to all the girls. <laughs> and there you are, boys and girls. Those are our knock-knock jokes. Now, how about you? Do you remember any? Or why don't you make up some? They're easy to do. Let's hear it. Come on, joke along with us. Well, thanks for joking along with us, boys and girls. I don't know who had the funniest joke. Not us. Well, <laughs> maybe the boys and girls did. You mean that's the end of the album? That's it, Danny. Well, you, you can't end an album like that, especially when you try and tell them the, the, the kids how to tell stories and how to tell jokes. Don't you know what they say in show business? What do they say in show business? Always leave them laughing. That's right. You've always got to leave your audience with a laugh. Well? Well? <laughs> oh!